Hey everyone, it's Emma and Katie, and today we are going to show you how to make your very own countdown frame. For this craft, you're gonna need some frames. You can use some old ones you have around the house. We're gonna use some scrapbook paper, and then we have just some regular paper, markers, scissors, a hole puncher, you can use command hooks, anything that you kind of want to make this. So the first step is going to be deciding what kind of countdown you want to make and what supplies you have around the house to make your countdown. We're going to be showing two different ways to do it. The first way is going to be using the glass on your frame as a whiteboard. So we have some markers and then you can just write right on it your countdown. The other way we're going to do it is we had some little hooks. You can use command strips, whatever you have that we're going to hook on there to use numbers to flip our countdown. So we're going to get started and the first thing you're going to do is want to put paper in the back to kind of have a backdrop, whatever color, or whatever you're celebrating. Once you've picked out a piece of paper that you like, you're gonna go ahead and take the back of your frame and trace out that shape. This way, you know it will fit. Once you have that traced, go ahead and cut that out. And make sure you check on your paper to make sure it's going the direction that you want if you have a patterned piece of paper. Once you have it cut to size, you're going to go ahead and make sure it fits on your frame. And then before you put the back in, you're going to want to make sure anything else that you want on the inside of your frame is ready to go. So I'm going to count down to Valentine's Day. So I'm going to cut a little circle that says count down to Valentine's Day and glue it on before I put my frame in. Once I have my words written out, I'm going to go ahead and glue it onto my paper. And then for mine, I wrote days till spring fling on my paper, and then I'm gonna glue a little just solid color piece of paper onto there, so when I'm writing on my glass, you can see it. When you're flipping this over onto your frame, just make sure that you have it on the correct side. This way you don't draw or put your command hooks and have to take everything off and flip it. So since I'm using the command hooks on mine, I'm gonna wanna make sure I'm measuring where there's enough room for the hook and my number. So I put my countdown up a little high, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick these on there so I know how much space I have before I make my numbers. The next step for me is going to be hole punching mine since I'm gonna want them to sit on the hook. So I'm just gonna go a little bit down on the top and hole punch all my papers before I write my numbers on there. And I'm only gonna have to write numbers zero through nine on each side. Now that we have our frames ready to go, the last thing to do is to mark our countdown. So at the time of filming this video, there is 37 days until Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my 37 on my frame. And then I have all my extra numbers here to change it out every day. And then for me, I have spring fling. So there's 110 days currently until spring fling. Can you believe it? Uh, so I will go ahead and mark that with a dry erase marker. If you guys make this craft at home, we would love to see what you're counting down, whether it's to a birthday, vacation, your favorite holiday, whatever it is, we'd love to see pictures of your countdown. If you guys do make this, please post it on our Facebook and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.